AR is the most popular sporting rifle platform in America. And with a Bear Creek Arsenal 22 caliber complete upper, really cheap to shoot. How well does it work? Let's find out. The upper came shipped in a plain padded cardboard box, and this is what was inside. And these are its specs. The BC-22 is an all-metal upper with direct blowback action and last round hold open. This model comes with a free float 16 inch barrel with a 1 in 16 twist and an M lock handguard. And it's designed to fit on standard 556 chambered AR mil spec lowers without modification. I can't show you how easily this attaches to a lower because YouTube doesn't allow that anymore, but I can show you how I disassemble it for cleaning. I unscrew the locking bolt at the rear of the receiver, which holds in the action. To remove the bolt assembly, you first have to remove the charging handle. This is the only tool that's required, a large Allen wrench to unscrew that charging handle. Now, the box did not come with a disassembly guide and I am no gunsmith, so if I mislabel or mischaracterize anything, please let me know in the comments section. With the charging handle removed, we can now pull out the bolt assembly and recoil spring. Now I'm not going to bother to field strip this any further because I could easily clean these components with a brush and some solvent. And with the bolt assembly removed, I can easily clean out the upper receiver, chamber, and bore. All in all, it's about as easy to disassemble as a standard AR upper and easier than a 1022. Reassembly is just the reverse process. One thing I noticed when I have it assembled with my lower is that my bolt catch paddle does not keep the BCA bolt completely retracted and open, but engaging the bolt catch does keep the bolt from fully seating into battery until it's released. The BCA upper was designed to work with Black Dog magazines, which were patterned after the CMMG 22 caliber magazines that you can see here with the orange follower. BCA cautioned me that CMMG recently updated the design of the top of their magazines so they may not run reliably inside of a BCA upper. While testing at the range, my CMMG mag seemed to run fine, but your results may vary. So I've set up at 25 yards with a Bear Creek Arsenal upper. I mounted a Vortex Diamondback Tactical 6-24 scope, and we're going to be testing it with some Federal Auto Match, CCI Standard Velocity, and Angula Super Extra. We're going to start with Auto Match since that's what I zeroed out the scope with. That was my first shot, and cold bore shots tend to deviate. But what I saw in the scope was a huge flyer. I'm aiming at the top left corner diamond for this ammo. And it doesn't look like this rifle, I mean upper, likes auto match. First malfunction, got a stovepipe. I'm going to clear that out and I'm going to add in an extra round to replace that in the magazine and we'll continue the test. Well, it seems to cycle okay now. Must be that cartridge. Let's hope those last three rounds of Automatch finish strong. Alright, that's 10 rounds of Automatch. Now let's load it up with a new mag filled with 10 rounds of Agula Super Extra High Velocity. You know, it occurred to me that if you clicked on this video, you're probably interested in a Bear Creek Arsenal upper or some sort of 22 caliber AR conversion. But maybe you're watching this and didn't know or never really thought about the benefits of an AR chambered and 22 long rifle. Cost and availability are probably the biggest considerations. A single round of 22 long rifle is less than a fifth of the cost of a cartridge of 556. And 22 long rifle is the most common cartridge sold in sporting goods stores across America. All right, that was 10 rounds of Aguila Super Extra. Now let's switch mags and fire 10 rounds of CCI Standard Velocity. Continuing with the benefits of a 22 AR, it's also a great training round for new shooters. 
It's not as loud or intimidating as a 5.56, while still learning shooting fundamentals. And if you participate and train in action shooting, you can train with commonality. You're using your same lower, your same gear, but with 22, you don't need as big of a backstop, and depending on where you live, you could even shoot in your own backyard. Now I can see from the scope that my groupings have tightened up and improved considerably, so it could just be that the barrel needed to be cleaned, fouled, seasoned, broken in, whatever. So to be fair to Automatch, I loaded 10 more rounds and we're gonna shoot that ammo again. Here's one final thought about the usefulness of a 22 caliber AR. And that's survival, hunting. 22 long rifle is a small cartridge but it is still a viable hunting cartridge for fowl and small game. In fact, over the last hundred years, 22 hunting rifles have probably brought in more food to the table than any other gun. Great, that was 10 rounds of auto match, no malfunctions. Let's unload, make clear, and call a cold range. Then let's head down and take a look at those targets. All right, this is after first round, first mag of Auto match and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is actually a first shot, way, way much of a flyer. So, but the second shot was also way low. So, yeah, the first group was way all over the place, more than a hand's and size. This is the Aguila Super Extra high velocity group, pretty decently, not awesome for 25 yards, but still way better than this. And this is the CCI standard. That's a nice group. And this is again the uh, Federal Auto Match flyer. Better, at least I was having a, a consistent string over here, but it's certainly there. I was aiming here and it was hitting far off. But as you can see, there was a progression in accuracy from the first round. So maybe it was, it just needed uh, to be uh, cleaned out and uh, you know, broken in, but it seems to be grouping much better than before. I'm surprised. All right, before we get into my final analysis and conclusions, I'd just like to take a moment to recognize this video's sponsor, Aura. Now, a lot of the products I review are really helpful in a worst case scenario, and one of the worst scenarios has to be identity theft. That's why I use Aura. Now, for the cost of a basic VPN, I'm getting more than that. I'm getting credit monitoring, fraud alerts, a million dollars in identity theft insurance, plus they've gotten me off of data broker lists. They've been amazingly effective in reducing the amount of junk mail, texts, and robocalls I get. So that's why I want you to get a chance to try them free. Use my link, aura.com slash moondog, and get a 14-day free trial. And you're helping to support this channel by using that link. So thanks for doing that. All right, let's get back to the video. I want to thank Bear Creek Arsenal for sending out the BC-22 complete upper for me to test. And one thing my test clearly showed is how important it was to try different ammo brands, especially a 22 long rifle, before coming to a conclusion or opinion about how well a rifle shoots. And that adding a 22 upper to your AR not only makes it cheaper to shoot, but also makes it a whole lot of fun. And if you're interested in learning more about the Bear Creek Arsenal 22 Upper for your AR, you can find more information in my full written review at moondogindustries.com. You'll find a link to that article in this video's description. And if this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Moondog out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.